Hi friends, it's Amy from The Stamp Market here today to share with you some fun tips and tricks on how to use our new Color Crush ink sprays. We have 16 colors, including a shimmer, which you're going to love. Let's dive right in and learn all about them. We've selected 16 of our favorite colors, allowing you a beautiful rainbow to choose from. Each of our beautiful colors comes in a nice, generous two ounce bottle easy to hold with a nice fine misting spray. If you're new to ink sprays, today's video is just for you, sharing a few tips and tricks and techniques to get you started. These are highly pigmented ink sprays, giving you the richest tone possible for each color. You can dilute these depending on how much water you use, and every time you spray, you get a unique pattern, which makes creating with these fun and exciting. The supplies I'm using today are going to be the Cheeky Ink Spray, a glass mat, a nice fine misting spray bottle, and I prefer the reusable paper towels. I want to start with showing you how differently the ink will react depending on the cardstock that you've used. On the right, I have a mixed media paper intended for art. It holds a more true to color as you can see that intensity of that color. On the left, I'm gonna spray a light mist of water on a regular 100 pound ultra smooth with a lighter spray. And you can see the difference that you can achieve. Even with the layering of color, it's not quite as intense. I highly recommend trying your inks on some different papers to see what results you can achieve. Also, before you work on a project, if you're new to ink sprays, definitely test on a few different sheets of cardstock, allowing yourself the opportunity to learn how that spray works. You can get really intense blobs or you can get a finer mist depending on how you push the nozzle. As the inks dry, I'm just sharing with you how different those techniques look. Mixed media paper on the right, standard cardstock on the left. It's also fun to note that these inks are water reactive. So once your colors have dried, you can easily spray with a water bottle over the top. You can remove some of the color or allow the water drops just to sit and create a different pattern. This is just a fun way to add another layer of texture to that ink. I've die cut another piece of mixed media paper I'm spraying the water down on the mixed media paper first, spritzing with some color, and watch how that separates and reacts, allowing it some fun interaction and unique patterns. I've sprayed it again to achieve a little different look. Now you can just let it dry like that, but I want to remove a little bit of the color, and I'm just showing you this so you can see how you can control the color intensity of each of those inks. Don't be afraid when spraying these inks. If it's a little dark, add a little more water. If it's too light, give it another spray. That's the beauty of these ink sprays. Look at that variety that can only be achieved using ink sprays. Now let's move on to our shimmer spray and why this is a must have. When you receive your bottle, it'll likely be settled at the bottom and you'll see like an oily residue. Just give that a little shake, mixing that up until it's a solid white liquid. Next up, I'm sharing with you how you can add a little pizzazz to that cardstock. Using our shimmer spray, just simply mist over the top of your cardstock. You can do this on your die cuts, on your backgrounds of your cards, memory keeping. This is just such a fun way to add a little shimmer and something extra. And depending on how much you spray, you can really achieve a different pearlized look. You can also add the same technique to any of our ink colors. Simply spritz over the top, just like you did the cardstock, and this will give you a fun metallic shimmery finish to any of those 16 colors.
Next up, I'm showing you a sample of a way to use those stencils with your ink sprays. Simply lay that stencil down, give it a light misting, which will help prevent too much bleeding under the stencil. And there you have a quick and simple background, ready for a greeting or fun embellishment. Next up, I'll be sharing with you, using our new Ditzy Floral background, how to create an emboss resist technique using ink sprays and clear embossing powder. Make sure you get really good coverage on your background stamp so that image transfers really well. Simply place your die cut over the top, pressing firmly to make sure that image transfers nice and smooth. Then you'll simply sprinkle with some clear embossing powder, tap off the excess, and now we're going to heat emboss that. This is a fun and beautiful technique for adding a little extra shine to that finished project. Now that we're done embossing with the heat tool, I just really want you to be able to see that fun pattern. Using our cheeky ink, we're going to spray a fine mist over the top of that, and then you'll wanna have a baby wipe on hand and ready to remove any excess ink. And that clear image will resist and repel that ink, allowing you kind of a reverse pattern. These create such beautiful patterns what a fun way using a stencil or a stamp. The next technique I'm going to share will be showing you a little multicolored background. I like to use a clear block, spraying three or four different colors in a random pattern as shown. I like to also add a little extra water on the top. You don't have to, but this will just give it a little bit more blendability and then I'm going to take my cardstock and lay that down on top of the ink. And this will quickly absorb the ink. You'll want to remove that and simply let it dry. And look at that unique pattern and background that it creates. You can also spritz additional water over the top, giving it a little bit more water reactive look. Don't be afraid to add a little more water if it's too dark or not blended enough in certain areas for you. You can also use a paper towel to simply remove some of that excess ink. Don't be afraid to continue to play with that water, removing areas that are darker or achieving a little different look. Again, that's the beauty of using these ink sprays. I made a second tag using the same technique and the same colors and look how different those patterns turn out. Lastly, I wanna share with you how to use these inks with different mediums. Because these are so pigmented and they have such an intense color, you can mix these with different mediums and achieve those rich tones. Starting with a matte gel, which makes a beautiful background on card making. I'm just going to take a little blob just for an example to show you. I'm gonna lay that down on my glass surface. This is such a fun process. I can't wait to show you how it turns out. You're going to want to just open up your bottles and simply drop a few drops. And you can mess around with the intensity of color depending on how many drops you put in, just like food coloring and frosting. I'm gonna mix that up with my palette knife, nice and smooth and creamy. You'll wanna work fairly quick with these types of products because they do dry fairly quick. Once you have that mixed to a consistency and color that you like, I'm gonna show you how you can just simply spread that on your cardstock. You can use a palette knife or a paintbrush. And once this dries, this creates so much depth and they make the most beautiful backgrounds. The last technique I wanna share with you is adding just a few drops to some acrylic paint. You'll want to start by using a, a good quality acrylic paint. Simply add a few drops and mix that with a palette knife. And either using a palette knife or a paintbrush, you can easily add this to your backgrounds of some cardstock or simply paint accents to your stamped images. This creates a much softer pink using the white paint compared to the gel. Look at that difference. 
When you're done creating, make sure you grab one of those reusable paper towels or a nice damp rag and clean those nozzles from any of that extra ink that's left over from creating. This will help prevent any of that ink drying. It can be really easy to forget to clean these if you're in a hurry, but don't worry, you can simply put them under some hot water when you're ready to use them again and they'll be as good as new. Thank you for joining me today as we learn more about how to use our new ink sprays. I hope this video inspires you to get messy and have fun.